Welcome back. Let's read our message. I have to find my pointer. Okay. Good morning, 4K. How does the rain make you feel? Miss L, Miss M. So the question is, how does rain make you feel? So think about it. Think, 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 think. How does the rain make you feel? What do you think? How does the rain? The rain makes me feel sort of sleepy, sort of like I want to cozy up in a blanket and be kind of lazy. How does it make you feel? So some of us said that the rain makes us feel happy about splashing in puddles or feel comfortable or cozy or tired. Awesome. All right. Now this week, this, yeah, this week we are going to, last week we talked about weather and this week we're going to talk more about season. Season. The word season starts with F. You're right. So let's start by reading a book about the season. <laughs> this is the cover of the book. It is called Bear in Sunshine. Bear in Sunshine. It is by Stella Blackstone and illustrated by Debbie Carter. All right. Bear likes to play when the sun shines. Do you guys like to play when the sun shines? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I get that. Today was supposed to be sunny. No, I think it's supposed to be rainy. Bear likes to sing in the rain. I guess the rain makes him want to sing. He flies his red kite when the wind blows. He's off the ground. What season do you think it is in this picture? Windy. Well, windy isn't a season. So the seasons are summer, spring, fall, and winter. And fall. Oh, you think fall? I know it's windy because it's cold. <laughs> It looks like it's pretty windy. The leaves are coming off of the trees. I think it might be fall in this picture. I, I yeah. Actually, she's wearing a scarf, so that makes it. Sometimes you wear scarves in the wind in the fall too. Ow. When it's icy, he skates in the lane. Okay, that is winter. That is winter. You think that's winter? Yeah. I would agree. I think you can only really go ice skating outside in the winter. Bear likes to paint when it's misty. Misty. It's like a tornado. Um, foggy. It kind of means foggy, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep reading that. When storms come. He hides in his bed. That's a good idea. Yeah. I would hide in my downstairs when I hide. When snow falls, he likes to make snow bears. <laughs> so what season would this be? Winter. Winter, I would say. Winter again. When the moon shines, he stands on his head. What? So silly. Whatever the weather, from snow, rain, or sun. Bear always knows how to have lots of fun. Yeah, because there's lots of fun things to do in all the seasons, right? Yeah. Now, right here, it lists all the seasons. So this season looks like it's raining. 
Um, what season do you think it rains a lot? Usually, not so much this year. Spring. Usually it rains a lot in the springtime. It's spring right now. Yes, it is spring right now. And then after spring is summer. And then after summer, we get to fall. Fall. Looks like the leaves are coming off the tree. It's windy. It's starting to get colder. Then after fall is winter. Winter. <laughs> So on these pages, it talks about what should I wear? Because we wear different clothes in different seasons around here in Wisconsin, right? Yeah. Brr, it's cold outside. So which should they wear? Shorts yeah. if it's cold out? Yeah. Or flip flops? Yeah. No, should they wear this nice hat? Yeah. Yes, and gloves? Yeah. And a coat? Yeah. Yeah. Those are things you wear with coats. Oh, and boots too, yep. You have to get boots. Phew! It's hot outside. What should I wear? Yeah. What should they wear if it's hot outside? Shorts. Shorts, okay. Shorts, please. Ari? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's walk. Ooh, and if it's sunny, maybe a baseball cap to keep the sun out of your eyes. Yeah. Well, we said shorts probably if it's hot, right? Sure. Oh, a t-shirt? A short sleeve t-shirt? Yep. And shoes. Yeah, the flip-flops. Look, it's raining outside. What should I wear? Merritt? Umbrella. We should use an umbrella, yeah. Lincoln? Lincoln. The raincoat, yes. Gabe? Um, yeah, the rain hat. Rain hat, oh yes, there's a rain, rain hat. Boots. Sophia? Rain boots. Rain boots. And the rain boots, yes. None of the rides, right? That's what? No shorts, no anything. Yeah. All right, that's the end. So we are going to continue talking about seasons some more, but we are also going to talk about a new letter. W, 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 W. I hear lots of you saying W. W, 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 Yes, it is W this week. I don't think that all of you shouting at me, though, is, is very helpful to you. No. W this week. So last week, we talked about letter V. And V was made with two slanted lines. Well, oh, there's one more. Guess what? To make a W, it's sort of almost like you're going to put two Vs together. So if we put two V's together, each V has two slanted lines, right? But if we add those together, two of them, how many slanted lines is that? Four. So a W is made with four long slanted lines. Are you ready? Watch this. This is going to be cool because I am going to make this whole uppercase letter without picking up my marker at all. I'm gonna start at the top and then I'm gonna keep going and I'm not gonna pick up my marker until I'm done making my letter. Ready? Whoa. One, two, three, four. Whoa. I just went down, up, down, up. Four. One, two, three, four, long. Slanted line. And the lowercase w is the same but shorter. So we're going to do sh four short slanted lines. One, two, three, four. I didn't frog jump. I didn't pick up my marker. I just did all in a row. And the w makes a sound of its very own. Are you ready? 
Are you ready for the W sound in action? Here we go. Wah, 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 wah. Like you're waving. Wah, 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 wah. That's the sound for W. Like waves, yep. Wave or wave. Wave like or waves in the ocean, yep. But our action is this kind of wave. Wah, wah, wave. All right. Good job, friends.